everyone, welcome back here. This is another episode of Fast as Possible. And today we're gonna go over how to do power food. Um, this is pretty much a hot topic. Power food is also known as total mixed rations, which is hay, grass, and silage. So we're gonna grab one hay bale real quick here. To do this properly, you need one hay bale, or sorry, one straw bale, one hay bale, and then two buckets of silage, depending upon what uh, bucket you have. Uh, if you're using the bucket for the, the tractors, it's going to be more than two buckets. Um, you just have to kind of go with two, maybe three. Uh, if you're using the wheel loader or the telehander, it's uh, about two buckets. So you put the, the straw bale into the mixing wagon here. Uh, make sure you have a tractor hooked up to it. And what I like to do is get out and then you go check. Uh, you want to make sure all those bars are in green. Um, if they're in red, uh, power food does not get made then. So we're going to go here and get uh, a hay bale real quick. And you can use also silage bales too, those will work. So uh, one of each will do the trick. Um, if they're not ready yet, yeah, you use uh, silage from the pit. So let's take this over here and it'll drop off because I didn't have it on there quite right. Sooner or later we'll get it. I'm hoping they do fix the, the collision with bales because if you try to get two on there, one will always click off and it's it's a pain in the butt, so. Alright, we'll line up here and get this one in the mixing wagon. And there it goes. So go back and check real quick and you can see that the hay that straw bale is in red. That's fine. Once you start adding silage to it, it's going to all go, go down and equal out to what you need. So if you do have silage bales, go ahead and use one. If you don't, go ahead and use some uh, silage here. Just hook up a different attachment. So you're going to need about 4,000 of each. So with the silage here, you're going to have to go, go more than two buckets full. Silage here, try to get it full as you can. Then you want to go back into the mixing wagon. And like I said, with this part here, you can do two right away. You shouldn't have any problems. After that, you want to get out and start checking and make sure you get to that, that all green mark where you want it to be. Uh, I dumped half of it on the ground there, so don't do that. Go ahead and uh, dump it all inside there. And then dump some more out. Okay, well that's not good. Right, let's get this taken care of here. I didn't even grab any, it looks like. It's like a bunch of hay right there. Off to the side there, that's been um, already processed. So you can use uh, hail, hail. You can use straw that's on the ground. That's fine. And grass too. You're just gonna have to use the bucket to do it. So you can see that there's still red uh, going on. So as you do more, it's gonna come down and be where it should be. Get in our bucket here. Let's we'll see what's at. So as you can see, once you get your your uh, bars and within the green, uh, within the the arrows there, is that's where you want to be at. And that gives you the the proper mix for uh, power. Food. So we're real quick here. We're gonna uh, get some more silage here. And I'm trying to get what's on the ground here. So this is going to be our third bucket here. Remember, I, I dropped half of it on the ground here already, the first bucket, so we'll get this going here. And we're going to dump it in. Try 
just about there. You want to keep on putting adding silage until you get that straw down into the into the green. So it's going to take another another bucket or so. Pretty much, you're gonna, pretty much you're gonna fill fill up the whole mixing wagon with silage at this point in time. So we're gonna grab one last bucket here from the pit. Anyway, again, let's get this uh, get this going here. And right there, we're gonna we're gonna dump this in, and we're gonna scoop up what's on the ground right there. And that's gonna finish it out for the mixture. straight there but that's all right we're we get it we'll get it in right, check room oh, we're just about there another rest of this bucket here and then what's on the ground we'll do it so like I said um, depending on upon what bucket you have and maybe two to four buckets depending upon what you have and like I said just go out and, and keep checking it and see if it's in the green. If it's not, just keep adding more silage. Um, but you don't want to add too much. If you add too much, then you're gonna you're gonna mess up, and it won't work right. It won't work right. Last few bits here. Let's put it in. I'll hit the side of the mixing wagon, and we'll put it in. And this should be it here. All right, let's get down. All right, so you see that we're all green. We're all within the arrows there. That means we have power food made and ready for the cows. So we'll head over to the cows. You can see down here, I already have some power food, but it's in the, like the orangish color. So we're gonna put the rest in. Um, just note that it will also fill your silage and hay up too. And then 40% or so goes to power food. So just be aware of that. If your hay and silage and whatnot is all the way full, 100%, then it should go all the way to power. So we'll get to the unloading area and just start unloading. So power food helps with the production of milk and manure. I'm not quite sure if it actually helps with the reproduction. Um, as far as I know, it just helps with your milk and your manure and your slurry. So. If it does help with the uh, production, post down in the comments below. Um, that would be real helpful for anybody else that uh, is wanting to know. So we'll go to the other trough over here and fill that up. And then our cow should be pretty happy with some power food. I'll go here real quick. You can see that power food went, went up and the cows are happy so they're, they're gonna eat that too and that's it for this episode guys i hope you guys enjoyed it uh this is fast as possible for farming similar 17 you guys have a great night